Here we go. All right. Awesome. Uh, hello, and welcome to uh, Play by Play. Uh, my name is Sean Bouchard, uh, and uh, tonight I'm going to be playing um, some more Half-Life and talking about the design of the game. Um, I think that I'm getting close to the end. I think there's only a few hours left. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I, I would love to uh, finish this off, you know, um, sometime relatively soon. So we're going to see how I can do. Right now, I am stuck on some kind of a crazy uh, puzzle um, where uh, I don't know where to go forward. Um, and there's a tank, and there's a sniper, uh, and um, I'm feeling ballistic. So uh, we're just gonna we're gonna utilize the quick save system to the full extent of that. I'm just I wanna verify that I can't kill this guy. Oh look! Oh look! Oh. Okay, all right, so two things. One, apparently if I shoot enough rockets directly into this uh, sniper nest, then I can actually kill the sniper. Um, and uh, uh, this was sort of hinted at to me by um, commenters in the YouTube videos, uh, which I did not believe at first because my experience with the snipers has been that I could not kill them. Um, but apparently I didn't fire enough rockets at them, so uh, so that's a thing. Also, I, I'm out of rockets now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna load this. My rockets behave differently than I expect, which is to say, like I expect when I shoot them for them to blow up like that, but sometimes they uh, they do a weird zigzag thing, and now I'm I'm wondering. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So they're actually, they're tracking my cursor. Uh, and I can turn that on and off. Wow. That, these are things that, like, it would be so handy for the game to indicate to me in any way. Um, and I'm really curious about the packing materials for this game. Like, uh, in, in 1998, I'm sure that it came with a manual. And I'm, I really wonder, like, how detailed the manual got. I, because I wouldn't expect the manual to, like, lay out the control scheme and alternate control, control schemes for, um, you know, these, like, alien guns that I have that I'm also super curious about. Like, I don't understand this gun really at all. Um, like, I can do some things, and then they, they like, oh, wait, do they also... No, they, he, like, flies around. I don't know what's going on with that. So th I don't understand this gun. Also, ah, it's recharging ammo. So that's handy. And it's got a rapid fire. Okay. So, like, uh, so, but I'm sure that this isn't in the manual. I'm not sure, but I suspect that this gun is not in the manual because it's kind of such a major plot point. Um, that, you know, you grab an alien gun. Uh, but possibly the rocket launcher is in the manual, and possibly if I had access to a manual and I read it, uh, I would, um, have known more about this rocket launcher. Let's see if I... Uh, God damn it. Where do I have to... So that one did it. All right, now here's the other thing I'm curious about now that I have a, a working rocket launcher. Is there any amount of damage that I can do to this? Can I just like blast this tank enough? Can I hit it in like maybe the... the uh, now, I'm, now I'm out of bullets. Can I kill this tank if I just hit it enough times with a rocket launcher? 
So I got that guy. That feels good. I'm gonna I'm gonna save my game there. And now I'm just gonna I'm gonna No that was not fun. Yeah, it didn't help me. So I the fact that I'm getting zero feedback from the tank, I like a lot of this is feedback problem. Not all of it. The tra the the uh, missiles tracking that uh, I just needed that information and um, and you know the feedback's actually pretty good. Like I'm I'm curious how well I can use it. Uh, let me let me try out like. That's pretty cool, actually. Like, now that I know that it does it, the feedback's actually really nice, and it feels really good. Um, I had zero indication that that's what was happening. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, but some of this stuff, like, like the sniper nest, the fact that there's no feedback when I successfully get the sniper, or when I miss the sniper, or when I come close to the sniper, um, uh, that's... that's I we'll call that out as being a particularly frustrating thing. Um, uh, and something that you would be, it would be much harder to get away with, I think, today. Uh, I'm also getting no feedback from the tank, um, but maybe that's, maybe that's because I'm not doing any damage to the tank. I don't seem to be doing anything to it. So, uh, what about this? Can I blow this stuff up? Not effectively. What about these doors? Not very well. What about, uh... I can't push this. I don't think I can blow it up. What about this door? Oh, now I'm out of... out of whatevers. What is this gonna do? Oh! This gun has, like, some kind of a... it bounces in an interesting way. Sometimes. Maybe when the angle is wide enough, then it bounces. Again, like, it's not clear to me how this stuff works. Um, which, uh... You know, because it has such limited ammo, I feel like I don't want to uh, to do a lot of testing. But of course, I also have the advantage of being able to to load saves, and that's just that's that's partially an aesthetic, and it's partially uh, like um, uh, just a fad. Like that's that's much less popular today. It's much more popular to have games that you can play through from beginning to end, and you don't need to use the save system except when you're leaving, you know, your, your computer, your console. Um, and I think Half-Life was built around a culture that, uh, you know, just had a different relationship to saves. How much can I charge of this? Holy shit! I blew up the tank! What? Really? That was really a thing? Wow, okay. So... Again, like I was saying, the kind of feedback that I'm looking for that will tell me when I'm making progress, when I'm headed in the right direction, versus, uh, you know, just, like, that's a thing that I can't interact with. Oh, I think I killed some aliens on the other side of that door. I have one bullet left, but I can't use it, apparently. Uh, how much can I... No. I mean, it, it, so it almost looks like that ladder could, like, fall a little bit, but maybe not. Hard to say. Now I hear planes. I don't know if that's because there, there are more planes coming, or... 
Um, oh my god, that's like some kind of a satellite dish. S satellite dish is what I'm here to do. I am here for the purpose of satellite dish. Uh, I don't expect that to do anything. I don't. I don't really expect any of this to do anything. So, if now that I'm out here and I'm not getting bombarded by a tank, is there anything that I can that I can actually do? I do feel like uh, now that I've killed the tank, which is wild and wonderful. Um, this is this appears to be the way to go forward, uh, unless I can open these doors. But I'm I'm unfamiliar with any way to open doors like that. Uh, and I can get like halfway up this thing, but then I can't jump again. What about? Oh no! No, I didn't. That didn't do anything useful. Uh, I would really, really be upset if, if grenade jumping was, like, the solution to this. Uh, how about, can I get in the tank? Can I take the tank over? What happened to the driver of the tank? Nope, nope, nope. None of this. None of that. What about over here? Can I blow this door open? Hmm. Okay. Um. I don't think there's anything left in here. So, hmm. The fact that I'm I'm still, I could go backward. Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. I could bring this guy with me. I didn't see any. Um. No, I wonder if those boys could have made a bigger mess. I didn't see any, like, like uh, security access. Um, what are these guys good for? These guys are good for key cards, I think. The scientists are good for um, retinal scans. I don't see anything out here that's gonna... I'm gonna use a, a, a guard dude uh, to get past. I can retreat. I can go back sort of the way that I came. I think, maybe, um, but I'm not sure what that would do. Let's try it. I am, um, that was this way. Oh, come on. Um... But I honestly, like, this doesn't feel like it's a good direction. Like, this doesn't feel like progress to me. Oh, here's okay, another guy. Uh, I'm gonna go back, because none of this feels positive. Um... This is a game that I think I have a, a few more hours of if I can ever leave this little, like, driveway right here. I'll be happy to survive this with all my parts. I'll be happy to survive this with all my parts? Is that what he said? It seems like a weird thing to say. Um, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. It's sort of smaller than I thought, because it's just this little area, and there's no way out. This sure seems like an exit. Like, there's a door right there. It's right there. You can see it. It's open. There are ladders leading to it. Um, if there were boxes, maybe... Uh, maybe there were. Did I blow up all the boxes? I don't, I don't think so. Um, now, even if I could... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit! Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Secret platforming. Wow. 
Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. No, not you. Uh, actual, real save. Do I have to hit? Where do I have to hit? That was good enough. That was probably not super, but we're gonna go with it because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know when I ever used that gun. Um, all right, so <laughs> interesting, interesting. I'm gonna, uh, let me just do this. Uh, let me just, I mean, like, I'm sure that this is right now. Now that I've seen it, I'm sure that this is right. Oh, God damn it. Um, so, I came out on this ledge. But when I came out on the ledge, I was, I was totally focused on the tank. Um... I could probably actually do this without even killing the tank. Uh, I don't know, maybe going out on that ledge is too dangerous. But, um, uh, yeah, it, I, hmm, interesting. I didn't, I, I mean, I just, like, flat out didn't see the ledge again, uh, for, for quite a while. Um, I actually solved this puzzle by staring at this ladder setup. Um, and wishing that I had a box to put under the ladder so I could jump up to it. And recognizing that these boxes were kind of in approximately the right position, but that I didn't have any way to get up there either. Um, and obviously I do, but uh, I don't know. That's, that's, that's somehow, that was more lines than I was able to draw on my own for, for a while. And I can jump, too, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Gordon Freeman has the ability to jump. Um, I remember that being a feature of this game, is jumping. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Ha! <sighs> um, so, some of this, I think, is... Uh, 3D platforming is uh, is hard. Um, some of it is this particular moment, like with these platforms, is I, it just bounced me right off of there. That is not cool. Uh, did I was I looking too down? Do I need to be like make sure I'm facing more upward? Um, there we go. That was, that was part of it. There we go. Alright. Real gun. Real gun time. There's some kind of a satellite dish up there. Uh, let's, let's save. This is gonna be great. Okay, that was not great. Great isn't exactly the word that I would use. But, um, you know, it happened. It was a thing. I feel like I'm, I'm high on ammo right now, which is nice. So, um, uh, yeah, my grenades just weren't that effective because there's a delay on them, I guess. But I, uh, 
I enjoy having so many grenades that I feel like I can use them. I actually don't know how many grenades I have. I have a bunch of grenades. Great. Awesome. Better be careful. Oh, and now this door is open. Wonderful. I'm going to want that guard, aren't I? This is great. This is great. Everything's going... S oh, shit. No. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Scary... Scary dark room contains health. That's good. That's wonderful. Uh, he's got a bad feeling about this. There's potentially a way to go up there, but I might have to platform better. Oh god, do I have to do the whole thing? And when do those doors open? That's a question. All right, I think I have to do this whole thing again, which is annoying and one of my least favorite things about uh, 3D platformers. But it is pretty common and pretty straightforward. Okay, look up. Look up, Sean. There we go. There we go. Good, good, good. Um... Uh, maybe this is part of my trouble with ladders, is I'm, I just don't, uh, I don't face, I'm facing ambiguously or something. Because uh, I'm used to ladders being more, having more of a, a, or a different tolerance. I think ladders in a lot of the games that I play today will, uh, if you are facing, like, totally level with the horizon, will assume that you're going up that you're facing up. And it's only if you look like straight down that they uh, they go down. I guess this is possible? Not like that it isn't. We're gonna, we are going to utilize the quick save here. Oh yeah, this is great. That's great. Okay, cool. Uh, except that this isn't where I want it to be, is it? Shit, why did I think this is where I wanted to be? I want to be over there. Which is... Uh, oh. Which is down... Here. Kind of like that. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, fuck. This is an open field. That's terrifying. That's vehicle sounds. Oh, those are like mech things. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and then there's a plane. All right, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's do this better with some heavy... That's probably not gonna work. Oh my god! I don't know what's killable. Can I kill the plane? It's unclear to me whether or not I can kill the plane. I'm gonna say... If it circles back around... Then probably yes? But if it just stays where it is, well, let's try it. Let's see. I'm going to reload this anyway. That didn't do anything. Uh, see, I was afraid of this gun. I was afraid of this gun because it was introduced to me in a way that uh, it, like, exploded on somebody. 
which seemed like not a fun thing to do. Um, but it looks like the gun can't actually explode on me. Like, I was afraid of overheating it. Uh, but it kind of looks like I can't actually overheat it. Fuck. Great, super. What if I just run in here? What if I just... What if I just never go back? Or what if I stay here and... I got one of them. Ah! Sort of like that. That was, that was okay. That was good enough for me. Uh, except that's that's uh, like a ah! Oh, that's what was behind the door. Shit, is that an alien? Yeah, that's an alien. Okay, I can't tell the difference between aliens and soldiers anymore. Of course, I have to duck my legs every time I do anything. Okay, this seems this seems okay. This seems pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't th think I need. Oh, can I can I do something with this gun? Whoa! Oh, I'm firing the gun. Huh. Again, the game gives me very little feedback. Like, I can... I, oh, man. It gives me very little feedback as to, like, the fact that I've changed modes, and I'm now in an entirely different mode. There was... I want at least, like, a little bit of stickiness to my controls um, that, like, makes me feel like I'm in a place until I move away from it, but my, my controls are exactly the same. The only thing that changes, and this gun doesn't seem useful at all, except that I can shoot myself with it, um, uh, the only thing that changes is that my gun goes away, uh, which is, you know, not a huge part of the screen, and, um, oh, I can't get in there. Can I get in there with a, with a guard? Can you get me in there? Um, yes, yes, uh, yeah, so, uh, again, I, like, I'm not super happy with the, the amount of feedback that the game gives me about, um, that particular thing. On the other hand, I did figure out that I can shoot, like, turret weapons, which is cool. And I do feel, like, quite a badass right now. I don't know if it's because my playstyle has changed a little bit, and now I'm, um, uh, I'm being a little bit more aggressive and more reckless and relying more on the save system, um, which, uh, you know, at the beginning of the game I was not used to, and I wasn't using... I, it, I'm using it much more as a crutch now. Like I'm, I'm. It's actively part of my playstyle. Um, uh, so I don't know if it's about that, or I think it's also. Well, it definitely has something to do with that, and it definitely has something to do with the way that this last little sequence has been mapped out, uh, where I got an enormous amount of ammo for really, really high-powered weapons. Uh, and was therefore able to blow up an apparently indestructible tank, uh, and two of those mech suit dudes, uh, and um, uh, one of those big aliens, like, it was absolutely nothing. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm, I am blowing my way through this game at this point. Uh, which is cool! Like, I, I feel very badass right now, and now I think the game is going to throw bigger challenges at me. Hopefully they're not platforming challenges. Um, I'm going to take uh, a break for two minutes, and then come back and go up these stairs and see what Half-Life has in store for me 
next. So I will see you then.